so guys it's no joke it's no joke anymore i can't find the 25th day video so i have to record another one and here i am recording another one okay the 25th day reading was supposed to be from chapter 4 to chapter 8 but somehow i lost the video i don't know how i don't even know how so i have to record another one today let's start chapter 4 numbers please take your bible and read along with me if you have your bible with you read along with me so i can get what you are reading chapter 4 then the lord spoke to moses and aaron saying take a census of the sons of Quat from among the children of levi by their families by their father's house from 30 years old and above even to 50 years old all who entered service to do the work in the tabernacle of meeting this is the service of the sons of Kohat in the tabernacle of meeting, relating to the most holy things. When the camp prepares to journey, Aaron and his sons shall come, and they shall take down the covering veil and cover the ark of the testimony with it. Then they shall put on it a covering of badger skins and spread over that a cloth entirely of blue, and they shall insert its poles. On the table of showbread they shall spread a blue cloth and put on it the dishes the pans, the bowls, and the pitchers for pouring, and the showbread shall be on it. They shall spread over them a scarlet cloth, and cover the same, and cover the same with the covering of badger skins, and they shall insert its poles, and they shall take a blue cloth, and cover the lamp of the and cover the lampstand of the light with its lamps, its weak trimmers, its trays, and all its vessels, which they with which they service it. Then they shall put it with all its utensils in a covering of badger skins, and put it on a carrying beam. Over the golden altar they shall spread a blue cloth, and cover it with a covering of badger skins, and they shall insert its poles. Then they shall take all the utensils of service with which the minister in the sanctuary, put them in a blue cloth, cover them with a covering of badger skins, and put them on a carrying beam. Also they shall take away the ashes from the altar, and spread the purple cloth over it. They shall put on it all its implements with which the minister there, the fire pans, the forks, the shovels, the basins, and all the utensils of the altar, and they shall spread on it a, a covering of badger skins, and insert its poles. And when Aaron and his sons have finished covering the sanctuary and all the furnishing of the sanctuary, when the camp is set to go, then the sons of Kohat shall come to carry them, but they shall not touch any holy thing, lest they die. These are the things in the tabernacle of meeting which the sons of Kohat are to carry. The appointed duty of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, is the oil for the light, the sweet incense, the daily grain, the anointing oil, the oversight of all the tabernacle, of all that is in it, with, with the sanctuary and its furnishing. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, Do not cut off the tribe of the family of the Kohathites from among the Levites, but do this in regard to them, that they may live and not die when they approach the most holy things. Aaron and his sons shall go in and appoint each of them to his service and his task, but they shall not go in to watch while the holy things are being covered, lest they die. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Also take a census of the sons of Gershon by their father's house, by their families, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old. You shall number them, all who enter, the, if, all who enter to perform the service, to do the work in the tabernacle of meeting. This is the service of the families of the Gershonites in serving and carrying. They shall carry the curtains of the tabernacle and the tabernacle of meeting with its covering, the covering of badger skins that is on it, the screen for the door of the tabernacle of meeting, the screen for the door of the gate of the court, the angles of the court which are around the tabernacle and altar and their courts, all the furnishings for their service and all that is made for these things. So shall they serve. Aaron and his sons shall assign all the service of the sons of the Gershonites, all their tasks and all their service, and you shall appoint to them all their tasks as their duty. This is the service of the family of the sons of Gershon in the tabernacle of meeting, and their duties shall be under the authority of Itamar, the son of Aaron, the priest. As for the sons of Merari, you shall number them by their families and by their father's house, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old, you shall number them. Everyone who enters the service to do the work of the tabernacle of meeting, and this is what they must carry as all their service for the tabernacle of meeting. 
the board of the tabernacle, its bars, its pillars, its sockets, and the pillars around the court with their sockets, pegs, and cords, with all their furnishings and all their service, and shall assign to each man by name the item he must carry. This is the service of the families of the sons of Medari, as all their service for the tabernacle of meeting, under the authority of Itama, the son of Aaron, the priest. And Moses, Aaron, and the leaders of the congregation numbered the sons of the Kohathites by their families and by their father's house, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old. Everyone who entered the service for work in the tabernacle of meeting, and those who were numbered by their families, were two thousand seven hundred and fifty. These were the ones who were numbered of the families of the Kohathites, all who might serve in the tabernacle of meeting, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the commandments of the Lord by the hand of Moses, and those who were numbered of the sons of Gershon by their families and by their father's house, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old. Everyone who entered the service for work in the tabernacle of meeting, those who were numbered by their families, by their father's house, were two thousand six hundred and thirty. These are the ones who were numbered of the families of the sons of Gershon, of all who might serve in the tabernacle of meeting, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the commandments of the Lord. Those of the families of the sons of Merari who were numbered by their families, by their father's house, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old. Everyone who entered the service for work in the tabernacle of meeting, those who were numbered by their families, were three thousand two hundred. These are the ones who were numbered of the families of the sons of Merari, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. All who were numbered of the Levites, whom Moses, Aaron, and the leader of Israel numbered by their families and by their father's houses, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old, everyone who came to do the work of service and the work of bearing bodies in the tabernacle of meeting. Those, those who were upon the ants, hmm? I just jumped. Those who were upon were numbered. Or those, those who were numbered were eight thousand five hundred and eighty. According to the commandments of the Lord, they were numbered by the hand of Moses, each according to his service and according to his task. Thus they were numbered by him, as the Lord commanded Moses. Chapter five. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel that they put out of the camp every leper, everyone who has everyone who has a discharge, and whoever becomes defiled by a corpse, you shall put out both male and female, you shall put them outside the camp, that they may not defile the camp in the midst of which I dwell. And the children of Israel did so, and put them outside the camp, as the Lord spoke to Moses. So the children of Israel did. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of, of Israel, when a woman or um, when a man or woman commits any sin that men commit in, of, in unfaithfulness against the Lord, and that person is guilty, then he shall confess the sin which he has committed. He shall make restitution for his trespass in full, plus one-fifth of it, and give it to the one he has wronged. But if the man has no relative to whom restitution may be made for the wrong, the restitution for the wrong must go to the Lord for the priest, in addition to the ram of the atonement with which with which atonement is made for him. Every offering of all the holy things of the children of Israel, which they bring to the priest, shall be his. And every man's holy things shall be his. Whatever any man gives the priest shall be his. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, If any man's wife goes astray and behaves unfaithfully toward him, and a man lies with her carnally, and it is hidden from the eyes of her husband, and it is concealed that she has defiled herself, and there was no witness against her, nor was she caught, if the spirit of jealousy comes upon him and he becomes jealous of his wife who has defiled herself, or if the spirit of jealousy comes upon him and he becomes jealous of his wife, although she has not defiled herself, then the man shall bring his wife to the priest. He shall bring the offering required for her, one tenth of an effort of value meal. He shall pour no oil on it and put no frankincense on it, because it is a grain offering of jealousy, an offering for remembering, for bringing in pity. To remember it. And the priest shall bring her near and set her before the Lord. The priest shall take the, shall take holy water in an earthen vessel and take some of the dust 
that is on the floor of the tabernacle and put it into the water. Then the priest shall stand the woman before the Lord and cover the woman's head and put the offering for remembering in her hands, which is the grain offering of jealousy. And the priest shall have in his hand the bitter water that brings a curse. And the priest shall put her under oath and say to the woman, If no man has lain with you, and if you, and if you have not gone astray to uncleanness while under your husband's authority, be free from this bitter water that, that brings a curse. But if you have gone astray while under your husband's authority, and if you have defiled yourself and some man other, other than your husband has lain with you, then the priest shall put the woman under the oath of the cause, and he shall say to the woman, The Lord make you a cause and an oath among your people. When the Lord makes your tithe rot and your belly swell, and may this water that causes the cause, that causes the curse, go into your stomach and make your belly swell and your tithe rot. Then the woman shall say, Amen, so be it. Then the priest shall write these curses in a book, and he shall scrape them off, and, and he shall scrape them off into the bitter water. And shall make the woman drink the bitter water that brings a curse, and the water that brings the curse shall enter her to become bitter. Then the priest shall take the grain offering of jealousy from the woman's hand, shall wave the offering before the Lord, and bring it to the altar. And the priest shall take a handful of the offering as its, as its memorial portion, burn it on the altar, and afterward make the woman drink the water. Then, when he, when he has made her drink the water, then it shall be, if she has defiled herself and behaved unfaithfully toward her husband, that the water that brings a curse will enter her and become bitter, and her belly will swell, her tithe will rot, and the woman will become a curse among her people. But if the woman has not defiled herself and is clean, then she shall be free and may conceive children. This is the law of jealousy. When a wife, while under her husband's authority, goes astray and defiles herself, or when the spirit of jealousy comes upon a man, and he becomes jealous of his wife. When he shall, then he shall stand the woman before the Lord, and the priest shall execute all this law upon her. Then the man shall be free from iniquity, but that woman shall bear a gift. Chapter 6 Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, When either a man or woman consecrates an offering to take the fire of a Nazarite, to separate himself to the Lord, he shall separate himself from wine and similar drink. He shall drink neither vinegar made from wine, nor vinegar made from similar drink. Neither shall he drink any grape juice, nor eat fresh grapes or raisins. All the days of his separation, he shall eat nothing that is produced by the grapevine, from seed to seed, from seed to skin. All the days of the vow of his separation, no razor shall come upon his head, until the days are fulfilled for him, which which he separated himself to the Lord, he shall be holy. Then he shall let the locks of the air of his head grow. All the days that he separates himself to the Lord, he shall not go near a dead body. He shall not make himself unclean, even for his father, or his mother, or his brother, or his sister. Then, when they die, when they... because his separation to God is on his head, all the days of his separation, he shall be holy to the Lord. And if anyone dies very suddenly beside him, and he defiles his consecrated head, then he shall shave his head in the day of his in the day of his cleansing. On the seventh day he shall shave it. Then on the eighth day he shall bring two turtle doves or two young pigeons to the priest to the door of the tabernacle of meeting, and the priest shall offer one as a sin offering and the other as a burnt offering, and make atonement for him, because he sinned in regard to the corpse. And he shall sanctify his head that same day. He shall consecrate to the Lord the days of his separation, and bring a male lamb in his first year as a trespass offering. But the former days shall be lost because his separation was defiled. Now this is the law of the Nazarite. When the days of his separation of his separation are fulfilled, he shall be brought to the door of the tabernacle of meeting, and he shall present his offering to the Lord, one male lamb in its first year, without blemish, as a burnt offering. One ewe lamb in his first year without blemish as a sin offering. One ram without blemish as a peace offering. A basket of unleavened bread, cakes of fine flour mixed with oil. Unleavened wafer anointed with oil and their grain offering with their drink offering. 
Then the priest shall bring them before the Lord and offer his sin offering and his burnt offering. And he shall offer the ram as a sacrifice of the priest offering to the Lord with the basket of unleavened bread. The priest shall also offer his grain offering and his drink offering. Then the Nazarite shall shave his consecrated head at the door of the tabernacle of meeting and shall take the head from his consecrated head and put it on the fire which is under the sacrifice of the peace offering. And the priest shall take the boiled shoulder of the ram, one unleavened cake from the basket and one unleavened wafer, and put them upon the hands of the Nazarite after he has shaved his consecrated head. And the priest shall wave them as a wave offering before the Lord. They are holy for the priest, together with the breast of the wave offering and the tithes of the eve offering. After that, the Nazarite may drink wine. This is the law of the Nazarite who vows to the Lord the offering, the offering for his separation. And besides that, whatever else his hand is able to provide according to the vow which he takes, so he must do according to the law of his separation. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel and I will bless them. Chapter 7 Now it came to pass, when Moses had finished setting up the tabernacle, that he anointed it and consecrated it and all its furnishing and the altar and all its utensils. So he anointed them and consecrated them. Then the leaders of Israel, the heads of, the, of your fathers, of your father's house, who were the leaders of the tribes and over those who were numbered, made an offering, and they brought their offering before the Lord, six covered carts and twelve oxen, a cart for every two of the leaders, and for each and for each one an ox. And they presented them before the tabernacle. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Accept this from them, that they may be used in doing the work of the tabernacle of meeting, and shall give them to the Levites, to every man according to his service. So Moses took the carts and the oxen, and gave them to the Levites. Two carts and four oxen he gave to the sons of Gershon, according to their service, and four carts and eight, and eight oxen, and eight, os, and eight oxen he gave to the sons of Merari, according to their service under the authority of Itamar, the son of Aaron, the priest. But to the sons of Kohat, but to the sons of Kohat, he gave none, because theirs was the service of the holy saints which they carried on their shoulders. Now the leaders offered the dedication offering for the altar when it was anointed. So the leaders offered their offering before the altar. For the Lord said to Moses, They shall offer their offering, one leader each day, for the dedication of the altar. And the one who offered this offering on the first day was Nashon, the son of Amminada, from the tribe of Judah. Now, the last time I read this the video that I can't find anymore, the one I read inside that video, it was this same place. And it was repetition upon repetition. And I was even singing with this. But this song we are not singing. <laughs> Don't worry, we are not going to sing here. We are just going to read. And the one who offered his offering on the first day was Nashon, the son of Amminadab from the tribe of Judah. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering. One gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in his first year as a burnt offering. One kid of the goat as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offering, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Nashon, the son of Aminada. On the second day, Netanel, the son of Zor, leader of Issachar, presented an offering. For his offering, he offered one silver platter, the same thing all over again, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering. One gold pan of ten shekels full of incense. One young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering. One kid of the goats as a sin offering. And as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, 
five male goats and five male rams in their first day. This was the offering of Nathaniel, on the, of, uh, of Nathaniel, the son of Zohar. On the third day, Eliab, the son of Elon, leader of the children of Zebulun, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering. One gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in his first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offering is two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Eliab, the son of Elon. On the, on the fourth day, Elizor, the son of Shedor, leader of the children of Reuben, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering. One gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense. One young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in his first year as a bronze offering. One kid of the goats as a sin offering and as a sacrifice of peace offerings. Two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Eleazar, the son of Shedor. On the fifth day, Shelomiel, the son of Zurishada, leader of the children of Zimeon, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one good pan of 30 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in his first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offering, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first day. This was the offering of Shelomir, the son of Zurishada. On the sixth day, Eliazar, the son of Dor, leader of the children of God, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one good pound of 10 shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in his first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in, the, in their first year. This was the offering of Eliezer, the son of Dor. On the seventh day, Elishama, the son of Amiud, leader of the children of Abram, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels and one oh, according to the shekel of the sanctuary both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense one young bull one ram and one male lamb in his first year as a burnt offering one kid of the goats as a sin offering and as a sacrifice of peace offering two oxen five rams five male goats and five male lambs in their first year this was the offering of Elishama, the son of Amiud. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, the son of Pedazor, leader of the children of Manasseh, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering. One good pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in his first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goat as a sin offering, and as a sacrifice of peace offering, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Gamaliel, the son of Pedazor. On the ninth day, Abidan, the son of Gideon, leader of the children of Benjamin, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering. One good pan of ten shekels full of incense. One young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in his first year as a burnt offering. One kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offering. In his two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Abidan, the, the son of Gideon. On the tenth day, Ayazah, the son of Amishadai, leader of the children of Dan, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the
the weight of which was 130 shekels and one silver bowl of 70 shekels according to the according to the shekel of the sanctuary both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense one young bull one ram and one male ram in its first year as a burnt offering one kid of the goat as a sin offering and as the sacrifice of peace offering two oxen five rams five male goats and five male lambs in their first year this was the offering of Ayezer, the son of Amishadai, on the eleventh day. Pagel, the son of Okran, leader of the children of Asher, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred and thirty and thirty shekels, and one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering. One good pan of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamp in his first year. As a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first day. This was the offering of Pagel, the son of Okran. On the twelfth day, Aria, the son of Enan, leader of the children of Naphtali, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the Shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering. One good pan of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering. One kid of the goat as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Aya, the son of Enan. This was the dedication offering for the altar from the leaders of Israel. When it was anointed, two silver platter, two silver bowls, and twelve gold pans. Each silver platter weighed one hundred and thirty shekels, and each bowl seventy shekels, and all the silver of vessels weighed two thousand four hundred shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. The twelve gold pans full of incense weighed ten shekels apiece, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, and the gold of the pans weighed one hundred and one hundred and twenty shekels. All the oxen for the burnt offering were twelve young bulls, the rams twelve, the male lambs in their first year twelve with their grain offering, and the kids of the goat at the same offering twelve, and all the oxen for the sacrifice of peace offerings were twenty four bulls, the rams sixty, the male goats sixty, and the lambs in their first year sixty. This was the dedication offering for the altar after it was anointed. Now when Moses went into the tabernacle of meeting to speak with him, he heard the voice of one speaking to him from above the mercy seat that was on the ark of the testimony from between the two cherubim. Thus he spoke to him. Chapter 8 And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and say to him, When you arrange the lamps, the seven lamps shall give light in front of the lampstand. And Aaron did so. He arranged the lamps to face toward the front of the lampstand, as the Lord commanded Moses. Now this workmanship of the lamps of the lampstand was armored gold from its shaft to its flowers. It was armored gold. It was armored work according to the pattern which the Lord had shown Moses. So he made the lampstand. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take the Levites from among the children of Israel and cleanse them ceremonially. Thus you shall do to them to cleanse them. Sprinkle water of purification on them and let them shave all their body and let them wash their clothes and so make themselves clean. Then let them take a young bull with its grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil, and you shall take another young bull as a sin offering, and you shall bring the Levites before the tabernacle of meeting, and you shall gather together the whole congregation of the children of Israel. So you shall bring the Levites before the Lord, and the children of Israel shall lay their hands on the Levites, and Aaron shall offer the Levites before the Lord like a wave offering from the children of Israel that they may perform the work of the Lord. Then the Levites shall lay their hands on the head of the young bulls, and you shall offer one as a sin offering, and the other as a burnt offering to the Lord, to make atonement for the Levites. And you shall stand the Levites before Aaron and his son, and then offer them like a wolf offering to the Lord. Thus you shall separate the Levites from among the children of Israel, and the Levites shall be mine. After that, the Levites shall go in to service the tabernacle of meeting shall go in to service the tabernacle of meeting. So you shall cleanse them and offer them like a wave offering, for they are wholly given to me from among the children of Israel. I have taken them for myself instead of all who opened the womb, 
the firstborn of all the children of Israel. For all the firstborn among the children of Israel are, are mine, both man and beast. On the day that I struck all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I sanctified them to myself. I have taken the Levites instead, instead of all the firstborn of the children of Israel, and I have given the Levites as a gift to Aaron and his sons from among the children of Israel to do the work for the children of Israel in the tabernacle of the meeting and to make atonement for the children of Israel that there be no plague among the children of Israel when the children of Israel come near the sanctuary. Thus Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the children of Israel did to the Levites according to all that the Lord commanded Moses concerning the Levites. So the Levites, so the children of Israel did to them and the Levites purified themselves and washed their coats. Then Aaron presented them like a wave offering before the Lord. And Aaron made atonements for them to cleanse them. After that, the Levites went in to do their work in the tabernacle of meeting before Aaron and his sons, as the Lord commanded Moses concerning the Levites, so they did to them. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, This is what pertains to the Levite. From twenty-five years old and above, one may enter to perform service in the work of the tabernacle of meeting. And as the age of fifty years, they must cease performing this work and shall work no more. They may minister with their brethren in the tabernacle of meeting. To attend to needs but they themselves shall do no work thus you shall do to the levites regarding their duties now i've come to the end of the 25th day reading today is the 27th day so right after this video i will record the 27th day video and that will be posted too thank you very much for watching like subscribe turn on notification every of that good stuff so that you will not mix it. <laughs> so that you will be notified of the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.